a little too close to the speaker there. Okay. All right. Uh, my name is Calvin Newfeld. I am a trans person and a member of our community. Um, we are here today to remember trans people who have been lost to murder, and in that category, I include suicide. Far too often, we are our own murderers. Trans people face two threats, ourselves and others. So, what does it mean to stand up and take action in defense of the lives of trans people? First, we must defend ourselves from ourselves. And that means no shame. It means honesty about who I am and courage to speak my truth. It means loving our bodies, mixed and matched and stitched together as we are. Our bodies are all we have. We must love them, whatever stage we're at in our process of becoming ourselves. And that's the beauty of it. As a trans person, standing up and taking action is as simple as loving yourself. And we must defend ourselves against others. That means education. Trans people are murdered, beaten, rejected, out of fear. We fear what we don't understand. Understanding is acceptance. So understanding is essential to our safety and well-being. For people who are not trans, what does standing up and taking action mean? It's the same as it is for trans folk. No shame. Speak openly and honestly about transness. Just recently my mom was in an art class and out of the blue the woman next to her said, you know, what's with all these trans people coming out lately and switching genders and I just don't get it. And my mom said, oh funny you should say that. <laughs> I have a trans son. No fear. There is nothing to fear. Trans people are naturally occurring pieces of the human puzzle. There is nothing to not talk about, nothing to hide, nothing to excuse, nothing to justify, and certainly there is nothing about us to have cooties about. So as we remember those who have been lost to fear and shame, we can take a precious lesson from trans folk that applies to every human being. We must love our bodies. We must love ourselves. We must love one another.